Hello everyone, welcome back to Learn Intro. In this video, we will discuss about one of the important Python interview questions. The question is, what is the difference between .py and .pyc file? So, they ask you the difference between .py and .pyc file. At times you might think, what is this thing? Because throughout Python, whenever you are working with Python, you just encounter this .py file, right? So for whatever you create, whatever code you write with Python, the, then you just interpret .py file. But now what's this .pyc file? That might be the first question you just be thinking of. So before you just run into a uh, state of dilemma of what to answer in your interview, I just tell you how, what is this thing and what's the basic difference is. So .py is the file that you create or that you write and this contains the exact source code of the program the source code that you create or maybe the thing you do with the you want to do with the python program so that is uh, written within the dot py file whereas when we talk about dot pyc file then uh, dot pyc file contains the byte code of the program so we get this dot pyc file after you compile this dot py file whenever your uh, some uh, python file or the dot py file gets compiled then your compiler your python compile i mean your python compiles this and your program uh, com your python compiles the program and converts this to a dot pyc file it creates a it's better say it generates a dot pyc file so we get the byte code after compilation of the dot py file so dot py file was our source code okay now also, this .pyc file are not created for all the files that you run. So, for all the files that you mention as .py, so .pyc is not created for all the files. So, whenever you import something, okay, whenever you import some modules or you import something in your file, then for those import statements or uh, for those imports, our .pyc file is created. All right. So that was the thing that is done with this .pyc file. Uh, you can also find out how where is where it is stored. Just find out in your local machine of uh, where the Python stores these files. Then you can see it. But the dot .pyc would be more of a uh, bit uh, byte code, so you cannot understand what's written in it. That in it's not normal English that you can understand. Moving on, before the execution of a Python program, the Python interpreter checks the compiled file. Okay, so f before you actually run. Uh, my, I mean, after compilation, Python interpreter checks the compiled file. If the file is present, the virtual machine executes it. Okay. If not found, it checks for the .py file. I mean, when you are just importing those files, uh, say you just imported some libraries, and then Python you just wrote it, uh, wrote your .py file, so it will just compile. And when you, when your interpreter is trying to run your .py file, uh, is trying to write your .py file, then it will check for the files that are re required to run. I mean, those um, import statements. Now, if the file is present, those file is present, then the virtual machine executes your program. And if not found, it checks for the uh, it checks what are the things that you require that you given as import in the .py file. And uh, if you found it, it compiles it with .py uh, .pyc file. Once it's not found, you it again checks within the .pyc uh, .py file. And if found, it compiles it to .pyc file. Okay, then the virtual machine executes it. So having a .pyc file saves your compilation time. So uh, that's how you can see whenever you are doing more and more, uh, like working on a stuff again and again and again. So first time it may take a bit time. So whenever you are importing a library for the first time, it you found that it took some time to uh, compile, but uh, or to run. But from the next time onwards, you will find it becomes a bit faster because it, it already has that dot .pyc file in its memory. So it has the file and it compiles uh, after compilation, it uh, saves your time for the execution. Okay. So that is the basic difference between dot .py and dot .pyc file. I hope whenever you are asked within a, your interview, what is the basic difference? You will just say it's a source code file and dot .pyc is the uh, bytecode file. And we get bytecode after compilation of the dot .py file. Or the source code file okay so dot uh, pyc file are not created for all the files uh, that you run but rather it is created for the files that you import that's the basic answer you would just give to your interviewer when they ask you what's the difference between 
dot pi and dot pyc files okay i hope i can make you understand what's the difference thank you guys for watching this video hope to see you soon in our next video